How important is it to be comfortable and opening up about either your feelings or checking in with teammates? Checking in with teammates is always a big deal, you know? You spend every day with these guys and you can tell if something's off. Some people keep their cards pretty close to their chest, so. Yeah. You kind of picking up on those things, just maybe it just takes a question, how are you doing? Genuinely asking, yeah. and maybe they open up just a little bit. Isolating yourself from everyone else isn't usually the best act. You're away from your family just like they are, so they're in this, a very similar situation as you. So it's being comfortable enough to like talk with your teammates, figure out like, oh, like here's one person I can lean on. I think it's important to get outside the environment because when yeah, you're yeah. in, yeah. You know, the environment, you're so focused on rugby, then once you take it outside of your training facility, the field, go grab a coffee, grab a beer, whatever it is, it's a lot easier to open up. And even it's just like, hey, how's your day going? Just like getting that close conversation first, uh, making someone feel comfortable. I think being vulnerable is just like a good thing to have in the team and honestly like makes you closer with your teammates at the end of the day. With a fresh, clean slate, I've been confiding a lot more in my teammates and trusting more in my teammates to, you know, build me up uh, uh, mentally before I can go out there on the field. And a few words here or there, or a, a conversation on the side, hey, here's what you're doing wrong, here's what you're doing well, can uh, help you start building up a little bit of a base to fall back on a tough day. They've had some bad news injury-wise or they're struggling with something outside of rugby. Having a chat with them is, could be massive. Putting yourself in their shoes and trying to empathize with that will go a long way to uh, understanding what they might be going through. Then you can start to talk to him and say, listen, I've been on the same road as you. So if you want advice or whatever, please feel free to come to me and I'll, I'll help. As long as you don't feel like you're alone in this thing, that I think that's a huge part of it is like not isolating yourself and having people that you feel like you can at least share the journey with because we're not meant to live it alone. Most of the rugby teams that I've been a part of have been a really safe spot for me where I felt comfortable going to teammates or coaches, just letting them know what's going on. I think it's really important to have those conversations. All of my closest friends are from rugby, so now in Dallas I have my closest friends ever. I can talk to every one of them like about personal stuff, every problem I have, I've talked to them, so the rugby family is now my second family. Being vulnerable, especially towards your teammates, I think that creates a different type of connection. There's a saying that if you look in someone else's closet, you wouldn't trade your closet for their closet. We all go through something, but the part of being vulnerable is saying what's in our closet and getting stuff off of our chest. And I think that makes a connection in men that is very strong and very compassionate and very vulnerable and very emotional and you just become stronger from it.